welcome back for part three, where we erect the red iron from a slab to a, a skeleton of a building now. Well, we started by doing this one side here, and then I shot a short video of us erecting uh, some of the I-beams for the other side. We just hit, put them on the jib pole, lift them up with a tractor. And then you put them down on the anchor bolts and bolt them down, secure them. Then you put your wall girts on. Here my son's putting a choker chain or choker strap on it. I was so proud of my son. He helped me so much. We just worked together so good. He had a great time helping me. We just worked as we could do a little bit at a time we put all these up you know just turn of the nut just put them on there tighten them up use that spud wrench get them mostly hand tight and uh, then we leveled uh, made sure everything was plumb and then came back and tightened everything back down no, I definitely couldn't have done it without having him help me to do all this. It was a great help for sure. I'm very proud of him. Oh, it was so hot this day. I remember while we were doing this, we started early in the morning, started laying everything out, getting this back wall, back section done. And I stood that one piece up in the middle, holding it there with the tractor while I realigned everything else. And then we put the very top one See us working up, going from top to bottom. 
I mean from the bottom to the top. You would do kind of like Lincoln Logs, I guess. If you just follow the instructions, it wasn't too hard. The hardest thing was probably uh, labor-intensive. Something I'd go back and read the instructions and come back to it and figure it out. There was a few of these I put on uh, backwards, and I had to actually take them off and turn them around because the bolt holes wouldn't line up. And just carry a purlin up. My son would hand it to me. I'd pull it up. He'd go up the other ladder. And lift it up there. Line them up. Put the bolts in it. And then he couldn't reach the bolts. So I'd climb up on the other side and put the bolts in for him. As long as he helped me get it up there. Until I could get that first bolt in. And I'd come over there and finish it off. This is like, I think this was around July, the end of July, possibly, maybe beginning of August, and it was so hot you could hear the cicadas out chirping so loud. Once we got all the purlins put in, then we could uh, do the very front wall. Oh, yeah, I will end up having to chisel a little bit of concrete out. You'll see on the next video as we we're putting that front wall in. Some of them were a little bit tight. and just took the cold chisel and knocked them out if you look closely on the on the uh, time lapse you'll see a little bit of dust flying out whenever i was chiseling them right there and we just worked until the evening and then started the next day usually i did these projects as i could after i got off work or on the weekends All right, now that we're getting the front wall done, it's almost complete. And then I can put the front door in. Which here I am putting the frame in. It took a little extra fabrication. The next, I put the base angle that goes around the whole bottom. Lined everything up, tighten all the bolts down. Until there was a storm coming behind me. I think once I got that door in, it was starting to rain. And I picked all the tools up. And that was about it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And I'll try to get back to y'all. And as always, y'all have a great day.